Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In our previous video, we have discussed that there are some objects in this world which are combination of basic three-dimensional shape. And also, we have discussed few practical examples. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the surface area of combination of solids. Here, we have a solid. And now, we want to find out the surface area of this solid. We don't have any particular formula to find out the direct surface area of this solid. But if you observe it carefully, it looks like a, it's a combination of two basic shapes. Like if you divide this shape into different parts, we'll get two hemispheres and one cylinder. So now we know the surface area formula of this hemisphere and cylinder. Let's find out. The surface area of hemisphere we have to find out here. We know the surface area of sphere that is 4 pi r square. But if you observe it, it is a half portion of sphere. For that, we have to divide it with half. That is half 4 pi r square. If you cancel this 4 with 2, it will become 2 pi r square. So this will be the curved surface area of this hemisphere. What about the cylinder? Cylinder curved surface area will be 2 pi r h. So h is the complete height of this cylinder. So if you want to find out the total surface area of this solid, the formula will be the total surface area of new solid is equal to curved surface area of two hemisphere these are two hemisphere and curved surface area of cylinder here i have written csa and tsa for our short convenience actually csa mean curved surface area and tsa mean total surface area so if you want to calculate it we have two hemisphere that is 2 into curved surface area of hemisphere that is 2 pi r square place the curved surface area of cylinder that is 2 pi r h so overall it will become 4 pi r square plus 2 pi r h so this will be the formula of curved surface area of this solid tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning